That's excellent. Well, since we're talking about this and we're all sort of drinking and having fun, this might be a good time to question Spring Lightning. Oh, I After see. all, we're all like just... A... We're all relaxed we're all now. Enjoying. We're all just friends. We're relaxed now. Okay, in that case, I need a... I need a bully roll from girl first. Since she was, I believe, looming at the nearby table. That feels like it could influence the result of trying to interrogate uh, people. Interrogate is such a hard thing. I know. What's the name of the special ability? Because interrogate's actually one of the... It's... Question is the ability. Question. Are you using question? Yeah, yeah that's what I'm... That's what I'm talking about. So I I, uh, I got a poor result on my bully. Okay. Um. You just can't be intimidating when you're drinking a drink with a little like, yeah. umbrella. <laughs> the it. umbrella yeah. does not help. <laughs> yes. yeah. I, I am sort of picturing that, unfortunately, you have positioned yourself in order to be able to intimidate uh, Shem. And that means that mostly... Uh, Spring Lightning has his back to you, so can't see you. Right, yeah, all the threatening in the back. All the Staring threatening waves are going the wrong way. Right. Uh, but I'm sure he can't help but be vaguely conscious of the daggers you are glaring at. So, uh, yes. Let's see how Question is going to work on the poor unfortunate who is sandwiched between you and a uh, intimidatingly armed uh, Ruamite. Um, I'm going to give you a plus one form shift anyway. That I would have got more with a good bully roll. Okay, but it goes off interrogate. Uh, yes, you roll interrogate, and then we use that to work out minutes. Oh, you know, okay. uh, that is a good result. Right. Have I decided how intelligent some of spring lightning is? Spring lightning, more possibly. Uh, uh, I, I don't picture him being that bright. No. So that gives you six minutes worth of questioning with a okay. question that you can make him answer yes or no each minute. Let's assume there is a general bit of small talk happening. But, um, okay, so, but since we're talking a little bit about politics, I'll ask, uh, you know, Spring Lightning, do you, so do you care about politics at all? Oh, okay. Um,. That's a good question. Uh, this isn't a yes or no answer, because uh, what he says is uh, there is a yes or no answer. But, um, uh, he equivocates for a bit in terms of uh, it's, a, it's a terrible shame, you know, all these stories you hear about horrible things happening in far off countries. But uh, the real answer is no, he doesn't. No, um, he doesn't. Okay. He's, all right. uh, he's not political himself and. Uh, particularly, and he's not involved in politics. Okay, so I can put that to bed. Um, but he does want to go on for a, a long and rambling story about uh, about a um, the, uh, a young woman he used to know who was a being from uh, 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 a refugee who had been a slave of the serpent. Uh, oh wow! And but she was a lovely young woman. She was a very, very, very good dancer. He's a bit freaky. Uh, it's funny you mentioned serpentine. There's we had uh, we got some serpentine customers coming. Uh, I forget if the maybe this is a memory roll if the woman or if it was obvious if the woman who came in specifically said that she knew Spring Lightning. My I impression was she, that she did. That does. Sound I think familiar. she. Yeah. Oh, okay. What did I say? Um, no, she didn't. She said she, she was did. asking about uh, friends and whether you had other friends from uh, Smith City. Oh, okay. But no, oh, that's was, right. She was a walk-in. Um, oh well, I'll I'll tell her about I'll tell him about this woman uh, who's snake. I I'll describe her and and the question is so. Uh, do you, do you know who I'm talking about? Do you know her? Uh, I no, she doesn't ring any bells with him. No, he, he tries doesn't. to stay away from the serpentines. Okay. Are they scary? Yes. Seem kind of menacing. 
Okay. Um, All right. So, uh, I mean, I kind of know this one guy. He's, um, yeah, uh, Uncle Boa. Um, I mean, he's, he's he's just a merchant. He's very keen. Everyone knows he's just a merchant. Uh, ah, yes, uh, of course. Uh, yeah. just, a, just an import-export businessman. Sounds, let's see, I've got one, two. Okay. Um, well, he sounds like a rough character. Have you had any trouble with him personally? Uh, I I stay out of their way. It's, um, it's okay. Uh, he's a merchant. I I'm a businessman, but I uh, I try and make certain our businesses are as far. As possible. Uh, did you have um uh, were there you know many serpentines back in the city? Um, I I didn't I didn't know any uh, any of them. Uh. I guess they kind of keep themselves, don't they? When they're not this, yeah, when sure. When they're not trying to scare legitimate business people. Oh, this woman who came in was uh, was a little uh, a little nosy, I would say. I mean, if there's if there's anything that uh, if there were to be anything that. You could. I always do this where I'm trying to like find the exact right word. Uh, seems like it'd be good to uh, to keep them uh, keep them satisfied. If uh, if there's anything we could do to not piss them off, we should probably be doing that. So he's he's nodding. Um, yeah, definitely don't want to piss them off. Did you did you take care of her uh, snake problem? Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, as far as I can tell, you know, it's. Uh, I'm not as good with snakes as uh, as with uh, more responsive, more obviously responsive animals. But you know, people always ask me how I can tell what uh, what Champ is feeling. But uh, you know, when you get to know an animal for a while, you can read its body language. Anyway. I was going to say, at this point, everybody politely conceals their yawns as you yeah. give an example or two. Right fun, fun talk. <laughs> fun talk. Uh, thanks for inviting me out. It's been fun. Yeah, it's n nice to uh, meet him away from work. It's kind of, you know, only place I've seen you recently. And, um, uh, Shem is busy trying to make his excuses and leave. Um, uh, although he does, he does say to you if you if you see anyone else from um, from uh, Smith City around here, it'd be uh, good to um, uh, good maybe to catch up. But, you know, you know shouldn't all be strangers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, where uh, where are you staying? Uh, just saying, oh, uh, yeah, uh, he says he's got a, a room for a few nights at the um, Belgravia Arm. Okay. Oh, what a coincidence. I've stayed there. Well, uh, I might catch up with you again sometime uh, uh, at the uh, at the bar down there. Cool. He does a uh, traditional kind of nomad room like handshake as he which okay. you would probably recognize, but there's no, no big deep significance to that. It's just okay. Funny. Can, Tell us something in. We can all take our leave. Well, uh, didn't I start a bar fight again? One day. <laughs> <laughs> I'll turn to girl and say, "Well, I think we can uh, we can leave anytime you're ready to go." I don't, I've done what I needed to do here. Do you have any idea what uh, this Uncle Boa trades in? Like what you said? I mean, I heard that well, he was a merchant. Well, it, it's probably, uh, it's probably, you know, are we, are, have we left? Is that is that the idea? But it's probably drugs. Isn't it? uh, I won't, you, I won't you be talking about this while we're sitting at the table with, Spring lightning. But. Oh, he he he's he's wandered off. 
uh, talking to a uh, young lady who uh, is impressed with his worldly ways. Yeah, so I said, well, it's probably drug, and it sounds like Spring Lightning is uh, is afraid of him. I was wondering if they were working together or if there was some kind of connection in that capacity. But uh, it doesn't sound sound like it. I think Earl would pick up that he seemed kind of nervous when... Uh, <laughs> Well, I am, uh, I am curious in my little investigations about whether this Uncle Boa, I mean, Spring Lightning doesn't seem to care about or have any knowledge of the world or politics or anything like that, but it's my, am I correct in understanding that the circum, serpentines are hostile to the nomads? Uh, so, is that a thing? Uh, I, I don't think I need to make you roll for that one. Uh, the answer is um, yes, particularly on the uh, where Nomad territory borders the ancestral Serpentine homeland. Right. Uh, that Girl is. Has experience with that war. That that conflict was one that Girl got enlisted into, forced right. uh, to fight right. in that conflict. So uh, that that border is as or if not more protected than the one between nomad territory and hillfolk territory, uh, and was subject to raids and battles and things. Okay. Going back uh, even further, and all this is in girls' history. So, well, like I say, nature of those. Um, but uh, at the same time, uh, lots of and many more serpentines are. Uh, moved away from their ancestral homelands and spread across right. the world. And but I'm, I'm just little it, serpentine enclaves in cities. But it's useful knowledge for it would be useful knowledge for the total picture if we knew probably probably left. If we knew if Uncle Boa was if his drug drug operation was in the service of sending money back to or sending money to uh, forces involved in the conflict. Do but, give me a knowledge roll. Oh, I will do a bit more serpentine though. I do not, but I guess I, I am now. How about you, okay? Uh, I keep making this rock my own back Roth, and making you make completely yeah. like contextless rolls where I've got no idea how to make it go badly. Terribly, as expected. Well, it's feeble. Okay. Um, do serpentines eat snakes? Yeah, right. Is right. that what they I guess, uh, yeah, your your knowledge of certainty has been by uh, uh, the understanding that these ones are heavily involved in drugs. And um, I suppose, depending uh, whatever the pluses or minuses of basically being criminals are in Christabel's mind, that's how she's handled. Okay. Um, Kill in any more interesting details about their society and beliefs and cultures and what you might be doing. Right. Send money anyway. Um, Okay. I may uh, put a pin in a feeble knowledge roll to see if I can more so make it more relevant. Now. Good to hear. All right. I feel the girl may have been a bit short changed. Uh, weird well, agent, uh, which we can pick up next time. Two inspiration points plus anything where you rolled awesome. Um, oh, right, yeah. there was the there was the odd awesome in there, as I recall, but not Fun. me. Not Fun for time. me. Um, <laughs> so let's see here. I'm. Uh, what with everything going on, alertness. Ooh, I actually went up in alertness. Bummer. I really wanted to go up in intuition, but I didn't. Mm -hmm. Bargain did not go up. Fate did not go up. Devotion. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. good. That's point. I wanted to ask a question about devotion. Uh, Ron, what is Shining Star devotion currently? My devotion is uh, a nice, healthy 11. Because unlike everybody else, you have a uh, potential uh, hierarchy. Uh, right. How you, think. you are still... Well, that's Only eligible for the first rung. 
Ooh, I like that idea quite a bit, especially now that I'm here at this temple away from right. uh, Evergreen Blessing and all the rest of it. Right. So that's good. Let's let's work on that. I'd like, to I'd like to follow up on that. Um, I also wanted yeah, to mention that I just went up a level of went up a point in poisons. Ooh, Lala. I decided it might okay. be time to start getting a, a little better at that. As the as the spy waters thicken around the right. Room. So Well indeed. No, no, it's all just about everyone being friends and information and knowing people. <laughs> He's very, very clear. And I mean very, very clear in that regard. 